it's another skills Friday where we learn how to get our skill ready for the game. So we ain't out there looking lame. Go gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like and comment to our content. We are here to help you turn from cheese to the macaroni and cheese, man. Get hair or another skills Friday for you guys. And today we're going to be learning how to become a better passer in basketball. Um, the first aspect we're going to go into is a bounce pass versus chest pass. A bounce pass is when you throw the ball at the ground, the ball will bounce up to another offensive player on your same team. And a chest pass is when you're passing the ball from your chest to another player. And bounce passes and chest passes are a little different because you throw them in different scenarios. Um, a lot of times you'll throw a bounce pass in order to lead a player downfield, like I'm mean at down court. A lot of times you'll throw a bounce pass if it's like a reasonable about amount of distance and you just feel like, okay, I, I just wanna lead this person up court. A lot of people don't, or you you wanna lead, yeah, you wanna lead the person up court and you're throwing the pass to, to a spot so you don't overthrow. Um, it's a lot, it's very, it's a very timely, timely driven pass. You have to understand timing and uh, if you don't, it's going to be tough to understand and, and get down bounce passes. A chest pass a lot of times is when you just want to get the ball there. Simple and plain. When you're just passing straight to, a, to offensive, another offensive player, that's when you throw a chest pass. And this takes basketball IQ and understanding lanes. Um, basketball IQ, as we stated before, is the awareness around the game and understanding the game. Um, so if you have a play, if you have a, a defender is right behind your teammate and you want to throw him the ball so you get an easy layup, you don't have to throw a chest pass. You know what I mean? Like you could throw that bounce pass just so it's it's easier for both of y'all. Bang, he can't get in front of it. So you get the layup. But also you could throw a chest pass and just lead him a little bit. But I prefer a bounce pass. I'm more of a bounce pass guy. Um, you have to understand lanes too because there's always pockets where to make certain passes but this also comes with basketball IQ this comes with playing the game more and you'll see these you'll see these pockets where it's like oh I could have passed the ball with cut right there oh there was a small crease where I could have got him the ball and a lot of times people don't understand these lanes because it's hard to explain and it, it really is hard to explain but a lot of times once you see these lanes, you have to take advantage of them. You have to take advantage of these passing lanes. And last but not least, we're going to go over drills. And we got three drills to become a better passer. The first drill is shuffle and pass. This is literally where we're going to be shuffling across with another teammate and passing the ball. Chest passes, chest passes, chest passes. And now we're just, we're just moving and passing, moving and passing. The second drill is the two ball passing. One person will throw a bounce pass, one person will throw a chest pass. And we're just gonna keep doing that. So you have to, so you might throw a bounce pass and when you catch it, you'll be catching chest pass. Or you'll be throwing a chest pass and you're catching a bounce pass. And you have to understand those timings with another teammate. And the last but not least is keep away. You'll have two other, you'll have another teammate and you'll have a player trying to defend it. Now you have to make passes so the defender doesn't get the ball. This is just a simple game of monkey in the middle in terms of basketball, but it helps become a better pass because you understand how to pass in different situations. Passing is not all about throwing the hardest pass. It's not about throwing the, the craziest looking pass. It's about throwing a pass that your teammate can catch. So if you're out here throwing laser beam passes and your teammates aren't catching them, you're not a great passer really. And don't try to blame your teammates where it's like, oh, well, they ain't catch the ball. Well, how about you leave a little something off? So check this video out on the screen if you want to be mean on that green or real on that field or extort on that court. The No Bottle Left Behind Act supports this video. You feel me?